Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. Hasbro sent me something. Hasbro sent me this big box. Can you believe it? That's never happened before. I, I think I think that makes me officially a Hasbro now. Let me check my birth certificate. I was right, my last name has changed to Hasenfeld. So yes, I got this this big promotional box from Hasbro, and um, this is something that I was never sure that I was going to do. Um, I was never sure if I would accept uh, anything directly from Hasbro because uh, I don't want to compromise my objectivity. That's very important to me. It's very important to this channel. Um, but um, I feel I can maintain my objectivity. I'm going to always be honest about everything I review and everything I look at. Uh, and Hasbro apparently knows this and is okay with that, so here we go. Uh, so um, I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you what's inside it. I have opened it up and looked inside because there was one thing I was a little concerned about, and I was correct. A couple of the items in here did get damaged uh, in transit. Not the items themselves, but the packaging for those items, so I'll show that to you. But I, I, I was concerned about that when I received it, um, and, and my concern was correct. So, um, so yeah, this is not a first-time opening and first-time reaction, but I'm going to show you what's in here. Uh, so uh, it's pretty cool. Let's, let's take a look. It opens kind of from the bottom, so let's swing this open and see what we got. We've got a few things, and uh, the first thing we have uh, is a leaflet uh, for the Deluxe Cobra Commander helmet, uh, Trick or Treat Studios. Very nice, printed on cardstock, lovely. Um, we also have uh, one item that I thought was kind of uh, funny and interesting. They sent me a sword. They sent me a they sent me a snake eye sword. Is this open? Yeah, this is open at this end. So, um, yeah, very nice, very nice. I, I so so now you better watch out, watch out there in the comments. I'm armed now. So uh, yeah, snake eyes movie sword, um, and it's got like metal rivets. This thing's kind of solid. Um, yeah. So you guys know how I feel about the snake eyes movie. Um, I, I actually feel a little better about this sword than the Snake Eyes movie. This is not bad. Uh, so, so there's that. Uh, but what is really interesting to me that's in here are the figures. And right here on top uh, is the Retro Series 6-inch uh, Baroness figure with the retro packaging. And this is one of the ones that did get damaged a bit. Uh, got kind of bent up on the side there. Uh, but um, there it is. Uh, this is a, it's, it's the classified figure size, right? Uh, and it's based on the classified Baroness that came with the Coil motorcycle, the Target exclusive. Uh, but it's an updated figure um, with some updated accessories and, uh, and the figure itself, especially the paint on the figure is updated. So this is one that, I mean, since the package is damaged anyway, I'll take it off of the card because I would like to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the um, the other Baroness figure. Um, I guess there have been, what, three Baroness figures uh, out now? There was the, the Coil Motorcycle Baroness, there was the Movie Baroness, and now there's this. Um, I would like to do them side-by-side. -side. That first Baroness figure was my favorite by far. This one is based on that one, so I just want to see how this stacks up with the original. I think this is supposed to be kind of a, I wouldn't say stripped down, but it's supposed to be simpler, so we'll probably have fewer paint applications, but it could still be a really good figure, and I dig that retro packaging. Um, unfortunate that the packaging got damaged because the artwork on the package is one of the big selling points on this. Um, I think if um, if the packaging hadn't been damaged, I might just I might just leave it on the card. But since it was, we'll take it off the card and we'll take a closer look at the figure. Uh, there's there's more in here. There's another another leaflet. It says Yo Jo. This is Yo Jo June. Uh, so this um, this would be a lot easier for me to read with my with my glasses on. So uh, I'm not going to try to strain my eyes and read it right now. Um, but but thanks for this. Um, I'm gonna keep it with my other cardstock leaflet. Uh, they are twins. Very nice. So we've got some classified figures in here and we also have uh, another item where the packaging got a little bit damaged and that is the 
the O-Ring Cobra Trooper and Cobra Officer figure, the new O-Ring figures. Um, the, the cardboard down here got busted in a little bit. I'm not complaining. Believe me, I'm not complaining. Uh, it's just a thing. It happens. It happens sometimes in shipping. Now, um, I may review these. Uh, I may take a closer look at them, but, um, but Timmer has jumped the gun on me, so... Uh, so this that would not be like the first time review. Check out Timmer's videos if you haven't already. Uh, half the battle. Uh, but it's nice to have this. I, I have not picked up any of the new O-Ring figures yet. It's something that I intended to do. Well, here we go. Uh, I've been very curious about how the O-Ring figures are constructed. Uh, and I'll pop this open and uh, take a look at them. Uh, but for now, let's let's finish looking at what's in the box. I think the rest of this is uh, classified. Uh, so we've got... Uh, that means if I tell you, I'd have to kill you. So watch out. Um, it's classified. Uh, and so now I'm going to have to go to each and every one of your homes and kill you. Um, but, uh, but for now, enjoy the show. Uh, we've got um, the classified, the new classified Storm Shadow of the One that's based on the vintage, the, I'm sorry, the version one uh, figure design. This is something that we have long waited for. We've had a couple other Storm Shadow versions uh, before we got this one. So this is an important figure. Uh, this is one that is a callback to, I think, probably everybody's favorite Storm Shadow figure. So, uh, yeah, I want to take a look at this, uh, see how it stacks up with the, the vintage version 1, 1984, and how it stacks up with the other Storm Shadow figures that we've already gotten. Uh, this one is nice. Um, this one, the next one, uh, is even nicer because this is one that I had uh, greatly been looking forward to but didn't have yet. This is Spirit. Um, a Spirit Iron Knife, as it's uh, noted on here. Um, I, uh, I, I am a fan of the vintage spirit figure, and uh, this is one that I didn't have yet. Actually, I didn't have any of these yet. Um, this is one that I had been wanting to pick up to put it side by side with that vintage spirit figure and just see, you know, how it compares. Uh, and this is one that I thought looked really nice in the photos, and I was really looking forward to getting my hands on. Well, here it is. I absolutely will be opening this one. Absolutely will be showing you this one. So there is Spirit. Um, he looks great. It, it, it does. It uh, re looks really great. Next we have um, the Cobra Viper in the Python Patrol colors. Uh, this is one that I don't know if I would have picked up this one. Um, I, I have a Viper a standard color viper that I have not opened yet. I'm I'm going to. I'm gonna. Lo I'm looking forward to opening that. I want to want to show you that on camera as well. But um, we have the Python Patrol viper. Uh, I, I'm I'm mixed. I have mixed feelings about the Python Patrol. I think some of them are stronger than others. This is probably the stronger one of the stronger Python Patrol figures. Um, uh, if you recall, when I reviewed the vintage Python Patrol Viper, uh, I did like that figure more than a lot of the other Python Patrol figures. So uh, this one, I, I'm assuming, will be uh, I'll have similar feelings about it, but I'll have to open it uh, and see for myself. So that is the Python Patrol Cobra Viper. The last figure in here is, uh, believe it or not, yeah, it's uh, Croc Master and Fiona, his crocodile. Yeah, this is this is one that I was surprised uh, that we got um, in the classified line. Uh, this is um, I know that Croc Master has a fan following, and I have reviewed this figure, and I did I did poke fun at it uh, at his name especially. Uh, I had I had a bit of fun with it, but we'll see. I mean. This is unique, um, I have to admit. I, I don't know if I like the figure, but I will still get a lot of amusement out of it. And it comes with uh, a, an alligator. I'm sorry. No, it actually looks like a, a crocodile this time. Uh, so Croc Master comes with a croc. And looks like he's got a little, a little baby croc in there, too. So uh, this, is a, this is a big one. This is a big one. And we will... Uh, 
we'll take a closer look at it and see see how this stacks up with the version one figure that's all the figures in the box um what we have uh, in here is like a cardboard stand handy uh, and um and another leaflet um yes it, it's hey it's a coupon i like coupons uh so uh so we've got we've got some uh, some promotional material here, and we've got we've got some figures, and these are figures that I'm going to give you guys a closer look at and give you my fair and honest assessment. Um, I have to assume that uh, Hasbro was going to be okay with a fair and honest assessment before they sent it, because if if they've seen the show at all, they know that's what I do. So, awesome. Uh, but again, fortunately, the selection of the figures here is a good one because most of these are figures that I, I did want to see in person, that I did want to purchase, uh, and I was probably going to like them if I got them. Not all of them, not all of them, but, uh, but that's a really good figure selection to send. So uh, that's great. So that's the entire box. This box is really big. I'm not really sure what I will do with it. I feel like... I feel like it ought to be displayed somehow. Um, maybe I'll super glue it to the top of my car. That sounds like a good plan. And that's what's in the box. Um, obviously, I am going to give you a closer look at all of this stuff, but I wanted to uh, take a minute and just show you what is here and show you what I got. Um, and uh, so you can at least see, you know, see what all came with it. Uh, the individual items absolutely will be on camera as soon as I can get them on camera, uh, and you will get uh, you will get full reviews of hopefully all of it. Uh, I'm gonna try to at least anyway. Uh, but uh, but that's it for now. Um, just a little special bonus thing. Um, uh, I guess thanks Hasbro. That's nice. Um, I you know what this means? I'm a total shill now. I, I sold out. I sold out. I'll see you guys next time. I'm, I am working on a video review, and I'll try to get that up as soon as I can. And we've got Joe Fest coming up at the end of this month, and hopefully I'll see a lot of you there. Uh, see you soon, and um, until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.